Hey, what's up? I'm Zorn from Omerita. We're here at the Cobra Lounge in Chicago on our first summer headliner. We're going out with Gates to Hell. But uh, yeah, I figured we'd show you what you're ri we're riding around in for this tour. Come on, follow me this way. Now, we used to do it old school. We'd have a van and trailer, but uh, we had a little uh, incident on our last tour back in the winter. So our agency no longer allows us to ride around by ourselves. We're not allowed to drive ourselves anymore, just liability issues. So they went ahead and hooked it up with this limo for us. <laughs> Sorry. I'm sorry, we're, we're just over here discussing just future projects and everything. Um, we're just having a really heated discussion about what we want to implement in our future endeavors and everything. So, uh, sorry. Like I what? Yeah. I didn't think you guys were coming. Oh, well, yeah, we're showing him our ride, you know. Oh, our oh, got us. That, oh yeah, interesting. Okay. Uh, yeah, sorry about that. Um, but, yeah, hi. <laughs> yeah, sorry. Let's, let's go on. I'm Carlos. I play guitar in Omerta. I'm Danny. I play drums. Hi, I'm Han. I play guitar and do vocals in Omerta. And uh, yeah, this is uh, you know, this is the pad. This is where we've been traveling. You know, well, it's only been a day, but yeah, yeah, you know, it's I mean, been pretty nice. Yeah, I mean, um, we actually did a run with the Amity Affliction last, uh, fuck, not even two weeks ago. Oh yeah. But yeah, this is our second time having the limo, second yeah. tour since we you know, had the little incident. Oh. But yeah, we don't. We don't. Oh. Yeah. But anyway, yeah, um, we also have some guests over here as well that I like to introduce. These are our friends that we usually bring on tour all the time. This is Bobawin. Yeah. I almost forgot his name. <laughs> we just got him, you know. It's been a long time. I've been looking for this for a while, but, you know, a friend, but, you know, got him. This is Bobawin. Um, here we have Cat Tram. This is uh, Carlos's friend that he brought with us. That's fine. We have uh, B Tran. B-Tran was actually um, gifted to uh, Danny by me uh, maybe a few tours ago. Yeah. And ever since, uh, yeah, he's been a good father to him. And um, this is our bestest of friend. This is Yama. You know, Yama here represents Omerta in many different ways. So we always have to make sure that, you know, he's with us, you know, every step of the way. And especially, you know, here in the limousine. He yeah. deserves the he's best our mascot. Team. He's our boy. He was our oh, yeah. We also got our little setup here. We got all the drinks. We got the glasses ready to go. You know, we got the bakasu right here. It's a little you know, Korean energy Korean drink. remedy. Well, it's a, keeps our vitality up, keeps our energy going. But just need a lot of this. Touring's tiring. You know, especially as hard as we have it right now. Just we just gotta stay on top of our game. We normally take a couple of those, like right before we play a set and everything, to really get the you know the blood pumping and everything. So I think it's. Probably like one of the more vital parts of our touring, oh, yeah. you know, Let's products. See. We also like to keep a lot of our favorite oh. snacks. Just, I was just about to bust this open. We have oh, a Katie's shrimp chips, noodle soup, shrimp chips. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Many, among many other things. Oh, yeah. uh, we so, also have these really awesome uh, rice crackers with nori seaweed. You know, just like, not, not, you know, just a nice little crunch, a little flavor. Oh yeah. And, you know, especially on tour, you know, we got to eat. So, you know, what do you guys eat? Well, most of the time we like to eat, you know, these Hello Kitty spicy noodle soups. You know, we got tons of these, of course. But sometimes, you know, if we're getting sick and tired of these, then other times we move on to the, uh, the Shin Lamians. Uh, specifically, these are vegan. So if you're vegan, highly recommend these. Um, and if we get tired of those, and sometimes, you know, we want something a little bit more spicy. We go for the uh, Pudak two times ramen. I know, you know, if you haven't tried these before, don't, because they suck. So if you hate yourself, you can try these. But yeah, so, you know, most of the time, you know, we usually eat this for dinner and, you know, even breakfast, lunch, um, midnight snack. If it's like three in the morning, we're hungry. But um, yeah, and uh, let's see. Yeah, we just try to stay neutral. We try to, you know, eat enough food, be sure we're eating right. Oh, yeah. This, it's all provided by our agency. You know? yeah, they want to be sure we're staying healthy on tour. Yeah. yeah. And, you know, here in the limousine, we don't believe in water. So we actually only drink Pellegrino, which is spicy water. Um, you know, we just feel like, you know, 
we're too grand for you know normal water so i feel like sparkling water is you know the go-to we, sure. we just yeah. live, we like to live a lot more extravagantly yeah absolutely yeah exactly. all provided by our company so oh, yeah, oh uh, also don't forget the the the, the sack sack as well oh right okay. yes Those, yes so we so can knock sack back sack like crazy. yeah you know this is a little like you know trip to childhood for me but um sack sack it's a it's a korean it's like a juice with grape in it like literal grapes inside um they're not like super crispy of course they're very um they're like gelatinous almost but um yeah it's honestly a god tier drink so i would always highly recommend this um yeah what else do we have i know you know zorn has shown off his um delicious coconut water oh my coconut juice yeah or juice it's this is the most vital ingredient to America's success. Oh, yes, yeah. absolutely. The coconut juice. Also, we have our agency's flag here. We're called End. It's every night dawns. Yeah, and sometimes, you know, we like to keep our, you know, little buddies cozy or, you know, even like to, you know, use it as a little blanket for the guitar, but yeah. Yeah, no, we like to keep it on us because it helps us yeah. remind who, who's given all of this to us, you know? Yeah, absolutely. We, we love them. Yeah, absolutely. We, we love them. A lot, yeah. <laughs> yeah, this is our main ride. Um, I'm sure some of you probably noticed we're missing somebody, but uh, <laughs> we got—I guess we got a show where he he rides around and you know. Yeah, loser. Okay, yeah. Anyways, Daniel. So like, what I, I really just saying, don't get. It. Anyway, but let's go around the corner where that's at. Our agency—they want us to be in comfort. We want as little conflict as possible on the road just because a lot of shit just comes up or out for months on end. But, uh, <laughs> like I said, four of us riding in that, but I have to be honest, you know, we keep guessing his little, uh, we keep guessing another ride. So I'm gonna show you that real quick. Yeah, so. We got Gus, he, he rides around with the gear. You know, we fly from show to show. The limo picks us up in every city, but this is how we get our gear around. This is how we have a driver for him. This is how he gets around. So we're gonna show you that. Are you in here? What's up? The digital tour bus is here. They wanna see, uh, want see your special ride you got here. Yeah, no, we did. What are you talking about? Did you board it or did the agency board it? Doesn't matter. What's up, guys? I'm Gus, the Vocals of America. How you doing? This is uh, where they keep my ass for a majority of the time. I say like 95% of the time. They say, you know what? Since you're the vocalist, you get special treatment and you get to have your own fucking ride, which doesn't really correlate with the rest since they stuff all their fucking luggage in here as well. But hey, as long as the, you know, the agency says that this is what's best, this is what we're gonna fucking do. If you wanna come around back, I'll show you around. What's up, what's up? So, this is where I literally spend 90%, 95% of my time. Excuse the trash, Pellegrino. Well, S Pellegrino, San Pellegrino. Best shit in the world. Love it. Fucking company buys this shit for me all the time. So good. But uh, this is where I spend all my time, either writing lyrics, taking the online vocal courses, or taking reading and writing lessons online to help with my shit, because I take forever to write fucking lyrics, and the agency isn't too happy about that. And if I don't want to be kicked out of the band and stay on contract, then I'm getting my shit together. So yeah, this is where all that lovely shit happens. So yeah, you know. It's not too bad, not too fucking shabby. Brought me like what? Five pillows, like one, two, three blankets. Remember, I think this is memory foam. This shit's thick as hell. They got me a sleeping bag that I think is, whatchamacallit, what they call that? Agency didn't give me the name. It's a, it's a cooling shit. There you go. So my sweet angelic body never suffers from the outside harsh weather. But yeah, I don't think it's too bad. I, I, I love it. This is my home away from home. Okay, well now that you've seen where I live most of the time, let's go to the next bunk. Ah, gotta close these doors. Ah, don't wanna get robbed. 
So this is the next bump with again everyone's lovely shit, mine included. You know, we got my luggage, we got Daniel's backpack, we got who I don't remember whose luggage this is, and I don't really like that it's here, but you know, it is what it is. It's in my contract. Gotta keep doing it. And then the next one, guess what? We got more fucking luggage. And I we got it. We got a trailer. I don't know why the fuck we ain't throwing that shit in there. But they said that this is what's best, so I'm gonna believe them. So, what the fuck ever. In the front, we got a driver. I don't really know his name, but I think one of the best friends, you know? He has me company all the fucking time. So I don't feel lonely when I'm all the way from the boys from all this time. You know, speaking of which, I haven't seen these motherfuckers since we left Houston like three days ago. But let me introduce you to my bestie. Yep, this is my man right here on the road. Don't worry, I'm not being taken hostage or anything. This is, this is just how I prefer to, uh, to travel. Right? So yeah, the, the agency actually sent him. And for some reason, they wouldn't tell me his name, but that's okay. Uh, at least, you know, he's getting the same luxurious accommodations that I am. I mean, look at this shit. You got the boy Dennis giving him air all the time. I think that's fucking lovely. They gave him this nice leather jacket. They gave him the swag. Fits right in. He's the f he's, he's great. So yeah, uh, what else we got in here? Oh, we got something in here, I think. Uh, no? Okay, let's move on. So, you know, we got this fucking trailer and I don't know why the fuck they don't throw the luggage in there. They won't even tell me what the fuck is in there themselves. The agency. <laughs> and it's getting on my fucking nerves because Yo. I would love to have more <coughs> fucking room. <coughs> Oh, continue. Yeah, there's uh, there's there's the, the uh, there's nothing in here that's sus at all, but I wouldn't know. All right, before I get fired from our fucking agency, we gotta we gotta cut this shit short. So, thank you for coming by. Thank you for checking our shit out. And if you want to find us anywhere on all socials, it is at I Hate Omerta. If you want to catch us live, go to I Hate Omerta's. Wait, what is it? So. You can find us. Oh my god. Holy <laughs> shit, dude. I hate omerta.com slash live. For future shows. 